Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on introduction to composition and resolution of forces. So a force may be thought as having a part that, is, that pushes to the right or left, another part that pushes up or down, and forces in opposite directions are differentiated by a change of sign. In other words, one will be positive and another will be negative. Now, conventionally, for the horizontal part, the forces to the left, to the right, are given a positive sign, while those to the left are given a negative sign. And vertically, the forces upwards are given a positive sign, and those downwards are given a negative sign. We shall see this through these examples of parallel forces. So, we shall use a pair of parallel forces. Case 1 has two parallel forces all in the same direction and heading to the right. In that case, both forces will be positive and therefore the resultant will be good by adding the 2 to get 15 and the direction will be to the right. Remember, force is the vector quantity, so you have to set its magnitude and its direction. Case 2, we have two parallel forces still, horizontal, but one is going to the right, another is going to the left. And in this case, the, the 10 Newton force, which is going to the left, will be given a negative sign, while the 5, which is going to the right, will be given a positive sign. When you add the 2, you'll get a negative 5 Newtons. Now, this negative means that the force is heading to the left. Therefore, the resultant force is 5 Newtons to the left. Case 3, we have two vertical forces, all heading, to the, all heading upwards. So in this case, all will be positive, therefore adding the 2 will give you 50. Therefore, the resultant will be 15 Newtons vertically upwards. And in this case, we have two forces, vertical but in opposite directions. In this case, 20 will be given a positive sign and 30 will be given a negative sign. Therefore, when you add the 2, you get negative 10 Newtons. The negative means it's heading downwards, therefore the resultant is 10 Newtons vertically downwards. Now that we have, look, have looked at parallel forces, now we are going to look at a pair of perpendicular forces. So let's, if F is the resultant of any two perpendicular forces, F1 and F2, then it means that, that this F is the single force which could completely take the place of the two forces, F1 and F2, and has the same effect as the two forces. And the resultant is got from Pythagoras' theory. So case 1, we shall look at perpendicular forces, one going to the right, which is horizontal, another one going upwards, which is vertical. In this case, we have to come up with a right-angled triangle by first drawing the horizontal force, which is 4 newtons, and where it stops, add on the vertical force, which is 3 newtons. Now, line joining from start to end will denote the resultant force capital F. Now, this theta shows the direction of this resultant. Remember, a force is a vector quantity must have both magnitude and direction. Now, the magnitude of this force is got by Pythagoras theory. 4 squared plus 3 squared, everything under root, you will get 5. So, that will be the magnitude of the resultant force. And the direction will be got from tan, because this is opposite, this is adjacent. So, we shall say tan theta is equal to 3 over 4 to give you theta, which is 36.8699. Therefore, the resultant force, we shall conclude that the resultant force is 5 newtons in the direction 36.8699 above the positive horizontal. So because it's going to the right, it is positive horizontal. Now above means it is above this line, so it is above the positive horizontal. That's how they get those two words, above and positive horizontal. Second case is where the horizontal is going to the right, but the vertical is going downwards. In that case, first draw the horizontal followed by the vertical, and the line joining from start to end will denote your resultant. Still so use Pythagoras theory to come up with the magnitude, which is 10 newtons. Then use tan, to, which is equal to opposite over adjacent, to give you theta, which is 36.8699. Then you conclude the resultant force is 10 newtons in the direction 36.8699 degrees below the positive horizontal. 
third case is whereby the horizontal is going to the left and the vertical is going upwards. Still do the same, first draw the horizontal followed by the vertical and the line joint from start to end we denote the resultant force. So by this Pythagoras theory we shall come up with 13 newtons as our magnitude of the resultant force. And when this, if we, we are to get this direction which is theta, opposite is this, adjacent is this. Therefore tan theta will be 12 over 5 to give you theta as 67.3801 degrees. Therefore we conclude that the resultant force is 13 newtons in the direction that is 67.3801 degrees above the negative horizontal. And lastly, we shall look at a case whereby the horizontal is going to the left, but the vertical is going downwards. In that case, first draw the horizontal still, which is 12, followed by the vertical, which is downwards. A line joining the start to the end will denote the resultant force. So by using Pythagoras theory, we shall come up with 13 newtons as the magnitude of the force. Now, if you get this angle, this will be opposite, this will be adjacent. Therefore, tan theta will be equal to 5 over 12 giving us theta as 22.6199 degrees. Therefore, there is, we conclude that the resultant force is 13 newtons in the direction 22.6199 degrees below the negative horizontal. That has been our tutorial for today. Thank you for watching. Please seem to my, subscribe to my channel, ROA, a learning platform. I remain Walgada Ronald. Thank you.